here on the channel, we have had an abundance of discussion about shooting down a drone. And the comments on those videos have made it quite obvious to me that pretty much everyone owns at least one gun. And I'm assuming that many of those people are hunters. So that made me think of today's topic. Are you allowed to use a drone to hunt wild game? Are you even allowed to use one for scouting ahead of your hunt? Or can you use a drone for recovering a downed animal? There's hardly any information about this on the internet. So let's talk about what I've learned so far and let's see what some states have in place for regulations regarding this topic. Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day and I hope you have recovered from your Thanksgiving dinner. So I come from a pretty long line of hunters and I used to love going out with my family and my friends when I was younger, but I haven't really done it much over the past few years because life just gets too busy with work and with family and with YouTube. But I do still have quite a few friends and family that hunt on a regular basis. And I was visiting with a friend of mine the other day who said that his wife shot a really nice buck and they lost the blood trail when they were tracking it and then it just got too dark so they had to give up the search and they went out the next day and they did actually find it so thankfully they found it everything was great really nice deer but i told them you should have called me and we could have used my mavic 3 thermal to help find it and then he's like well is that actually legal which really made me think I didn't even occur to me. I don't know. So I had to look it up. And as it turns out, the answer is, at least in my state of North Dakota, no, you cannot use a drone in any way to assist with hunting from 72 hours before the season starts all the way through until the season ends. Not for scouting, not for assisting during your hunt, or not even to assist when recovering a lost animal. Now the FAA actually has no rules in place or even any discussion about using UAVs for hunting. They do have a rule regarding the harassment of wildlife with an aircraft, as well as one that states you can't shoot an animal while you are flying in an aircraft. But there's nothing about UAVs and hunting. Now most states do prohibit the use of drones for the purpose of hunting. 45 out of the 50 states have some type of rule on the books regarding hunting. Just a few examples, the state of Wyoming made it illegal to scout or take game from the dates of August 1st all the way through January 31st. And that pretty much covers the entire hunting season in that state. Alaska actually prohibits the use of a drone to video an area that you plan to hunt on that same day. Now I do understand that you can use it the day before just to check out the area and you can use it when your hunt is over, like when you've completed hunting and you've filled your tags. You just can't use it for any part of the hunting process on that same day. Now the obvious question that pops into your head, at least it did into mine, how would they know if I'm just flying my drone for fun to, to capture some scenery or to take some photos or if I'm using it to assist in my hunt? Well. After I thought about it a little while, I'm like, you know what? Any normal brained game warden is gonna find it pretty hard to believe that you're just flying for fun if you're dressed in camouflage and you have a bunch of guns in your truck. And if they cited you, I guess it would be a matter of what kind of judge you have hearing the case. And I think most of the time, in my opinion, the verdict is gonna go in favor of the law enforcement. Now, I can't remember what state it is, but there's one state somewhere. You, you aren't even allowed to have a drone in your vehicle if you are out hunting. Now, I'm not really sure how they enforce that, but, and I can't remember what state it was. So if it's in your state, you know, if that sounds familiar to you, let me know down in the comments because I forgot to write it down. I went back through my history and I could not for the life of me find it, but I'm really interested to know what state that is. In Montana, much like Alaska, you can fly the day before you hunt, but you can't use it to scout, pursue, drive, or recover an animal. You can't even use it to film your hunt for like storytelling purposes. Now the rule that I have some difficulty with is the one about not being able to use a drone for recovery purposes. Because yes, fair chase ethics exist, but is it not more ethical to find and finish off a wounded animal? And then also if you killed it, I just don't understand how it violates fair chase because the animal is dead. Now, maybe that's my ignorance, but I think it would just make more sense to, if you lost an animal, to be able to use a drone to find it, because otherwise it's just gonna suffer before it dies. But almost every state that has a drone rule 
includes no drones used for recovery purposes. So there's quite a little debate there, I think. Should you be able to use a drone to assist in locating an animal that you hit but could not find without assistance? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'd really like to see what people think. And then here's a little fact to add to the fire, just a little bit. Did you know that the International Game Fish Association allows anglers to use drones to bait fish offshore from the beach? Pretty interesting, right? Like why is one okay, but the other isn't? Now, another argument that I'm assuming many people watching this will say, well, you know what? The FAA is the only governing body that regulates airspace. States cannot make drone rules. And I think most of us know that, but it's like this, you guys. Yes, state governments cannot regulate how a drone flies. They don't regulate that airspace, but states do retain the authority as to the secondary conduct that may be attributed to the actions of the drone. So for instance, things like surveillance or invasion of privacy, annoyance, interfering with emergency services, harassing wildlife, and much more. So yes, the FAA regulates the airspace and the use of that space, but states can still regulate how the drone is used. So I hope that makes sense. Now, because I couldn't find every single state law regarding drones and hunting, I actually would like to ask if you do know the rules in your state to list them down below in the comments to say, hey, I'm from the state of Nebraska and these are the rules in my state or whatever, wherever you live. But what I'd like to do is gather as much information as I can in the comments and then kind of be a resource for other people. And actually, if I get enough of them, if I can get all of them, I might make another video and just list them all. And then I'll put timestamps like, you know, find your state in the timestamps, click on it, and that'll tell you what the rules are regarding hunting in your state. So if you guys could help me out with that, I would greatly appreciate it. Now to finish the video, I would like to mention just a few more states and what their rules are regarding hunting with a drone. In the state of Kansas, you cannot use a drone for hunting or finding game, but you can use one for scouting on land that is not owned or managed by the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. In Utah, you cannot use a drone less than 48 hours before you plan to hunt, and you can't fly one until 48 hours after that hunting season has closed. Tennessee law is pretty simple. It's one sentence on the books, and it just states UAVs cannot be used to hunt any wildlife. It's pretty clear and it's to the point, but it also could be left up to interpretation when it comes to scouting and recovery. In Wisconsin, there is a zero tolerance for using a drone for any aspect of hunting, but much like a few other states, they also have a law on the books forbidding the use of a drone to interfere with any hunting, fishing, or trapping. So there are some protections out there from our friends over at PETA who might want to try to record or harass a hunter with a drone. For Missouri, I couldn't find anything on this subject at all. So if you happen to be from Missouri, let me know if you can find out what the drone rules are in that state. Virginia has some of the most clear messaging about drone use and hunting, and it includes verbiage that describes who can use a drone and where they can use it during the hunting season. Texas has one of the most strict penalties for using a drone for hunting, including a class A misdemeanor. That's right under a felony. However, there are avenues for obtaining permits for predator or nuisance species like wild boars. Actually, there's quite a few states out there that allow you to use a drone or pretty much anything at your disposal to hunt wild boars because they are quite a nuisance. So there are just a few examples. Again, let me know what your state has on the books if you would, I really appreciate it. Subscribe for more drone rules related videos. Hit the thumbs up button, that like button if I give you any information of value today and follow me on social media at 51 drones on all platforms. Hey, go ahead and watch this video right here next because Honestly, I think this is going to change your life. Have a great day, everyone. And as always, fly safe and fly smart.